Ireland, in Wales, the number eight seed, Panic Attack. Going for gold again. Now, Panic Attack Gold, you are up against, in your first battle, Rox, Chronic, and the Corkscrew. Yeah. Do any of those worry you? Corkscrew. Why? Smash the screws and then flip the flips over and then the crushes covers. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> not looking very good then, is it? No, not really. All that gold's going to peel off, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got lots of that. <laughs> that's what you get if it's cheap, you see. Champions of Robot Wars, the second wars, it can lift twice its own weight with a very powerful push, but self-writing is very slow. Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the Roboteers together. Chronic 2, they're on the left, Dave Lang, captains. Rocks on the right, Colin Sivers is the captain. The Corkscrew family on the left-hand side, the Heatley boys and Panic Attack with Kim and Michael Davis. In the arena for the house robot, Shunt with the Bulldozer and the Axe and Sir Killalot with the Pincers and the Churning Lance. Three, two, one, activate. All these machines have featured in the past history of Robot Wars. They've got lots of experience, pace and weaponry. Rock's coming in. Chronic 2 trying to lever up the flipper there. Rocks with the beat, the crush. Oh, look at that attack from Corkscrew! 99 kilos in at speed, 20 miles an hour, slamming into panic attack side panels, which are designed to stop anything getting in underneath. But that was a mighty attack from Corkscrew, and then they come again and causing major damage to the chronic armament there. And you can see that one of the chronic two wheels now left exposed. Down goes the pit. Corkscrew goes with it! Oh, what an end for a machine that had started brilliantly! The Corkscrew have gone! And now Rox gets a grip on Chronic 2. In the middle of it, Panic Attack took the brunt of that huge first attack from Corkscrew. You've just seen them, the men in kilts. They've gone. This is Chronic 2 flipping Rox. Oh, and is that something coming out of Rox? Colin Sivers and his family look on Carl and Jack, but I think Rox is leaking hydraulic fluid, it is! You can see it pouring out! That's a major problem because without the hydraulics, Rox simply will not be able to self-ride all on the arena floor. It is pouring out there. And the ref got quite right to get in with a quick count. And count Rox out. They've hit the rocks. They've gone from competition in the background. Panic Attack is taking a slam, which is unnecessary now from Chronic 2 because we know they're heading through. Do, do, do they not realise that rocks has been counted out and that Corkscrew is in a pit? What's going on? You don't need to do this. You are both safely through. Panic Attack and Chronic 2. The audience says they always do once more. Rocks flies through the air. Captain Colin Sivers, how can he laugh at his own machine's destruction? Oh, there's the angle grinder on the side. <laughs> and Carl looks on, 11-year-old schoolboy, and that's the end for Rox. Safe at last, cease. Sir Killalot Francis. Corkscrew spin out of the competition. Rox bring the major oil leak and slide out of the competition which leave us with former UK champion Panic Attack and Chronic 2, they go through! Now, what's occurring? <laughs> well, when Corkscrew hit, he ripped the whole side off and a bit of the front. Yeah, so round the back here, there, you can see the damage cap. That... We weld that bit on, and we've already welded that bit on. OK, so they've already done that. So you can see it's meant to end up looking like this, so they need another front bit on there. Is it doable? Yes. Panic attack. They've never failed to reach a series semi-finals. Kim and Michael Davis and panic attack. A kill. The rookie driver then, Gordon Johncock, with Chris and his son Ryan Delph. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots, Sir Killalot 
He really is gruesome, isn't he? Meet him on a dark night, no thank you. Shunt! Prettier. Three, Bit? Two, Who am I kidding? One. Activate. How much damage was caused to Panic Attack, really? Was it only superficial from that first round against rocks and corkscrew? A kill. Lost weaponry as well. And fighting Reptiron. A kill trying to piggyback up on Panic Attack. Zero ground clearance. You see where the side flanges there for Panic Attack. Nothing can get in underneath. And I wonder about the actual potency of A kill's weaponry. They sacrificed some weight for extra weaponry. And that means, I think, that Panic Attack have extra shoveability. And they've got a very good driver in Kim Davis, one of the best ever in Robot Wars. But that, that's not a weapon. I'm sorry. Hey, what is that? What is this on top, Aiken? Is that, oh, a mighty mace? No. Uh, a heavy, horrendous hammer? No, no, no. Uh, oh, oh. A stupendous, slighting, cutty thing? No, it's nothing, boys. Really, is it? What can you do now? A kill. Oh, a bit tentative. Look at the concentration on Kim Davis's face. Champions in Robot Wars, the second wars, they defeated Cassius. Robot Wars veterans amongst you will remember that. A kill almost up on its side. And there's one of the weapons locked there. I think it has. One of the spinning blades seems to have been bent and has locked. A kill is on its side. You're seeing there the control pod. Gordon is at the controls, a telecommunications engineer. Chris's team captain works on the AA patrols. Ryan, schoolboy, looking on. More homework needed for a kill, I would think. Dangerously near the CPZ, must have crossed into the CPZ because Shunt came out with the weaponry. Puncturing some of a kill, and again, that front blade, if you could call it that. It looks like two dustbin lids squashed together, to be honest. Probably isn't. But the most expensive item on this was the paint. Everything else cost less than £10. A kill about to be pushed delicately aside by Panic Attack. The crowd want the pit. They're going to get there, which Akil just digging in, but no more. Brave attempt to get this far. The road to glory ends in the pit. Cease. Kim and Michael Davis go through again. Oh. Well, Panic Attack go through after what I can only call a scintillating fight. Let's hear it for Panic Attack! I think he was talking about terror hairs before. I think so. Yeah. Awesome. Um, oh, yeah. Kim, that was so boring. Yeah, it's brand new. The thing is, uh, it was built two weeks before we came up, and it hasn't been tested. Yeah. You know, it's so... This is where we've been testing it, and it's... It is. It's slow, it doesn't turn, we're not happy with it. So, any readjustments for the next fight? Well, we're going to go out and take the skirts off, so it should turn a lot quicker. Yeah. Um, put some screws in the wheels, maybe it'll get some traction. Yeah, because there's no traction up there, it's no. a real slippy floor, isn't it? It is. OK. Your, your eighth seed, mm -hmm. you're a former UK champion. Do you think you'll be able to reclaim that crown? Yeah, of course we will. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, optimism, optimism. Uh, no. <laughs> The way it's going now, I very much doubt it. Well, you're through to the heat final. Go and get some work done on that robot. We want to very see well. you go all the way. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it! Panic attack! Thank you. Thank you. Panic attack. Let me remind you, Kim and Michael Davis have never failed to reach a series semi-final on Robot Wars. Terror hurts. Let me remind you, John Reed and Dominic Parkinson have never had such potent weaponry with Terror Hurts. Roboteers, stand by. Matilda's in the arena with the flywheel and the tusks. Shunt's in there again with the bulldozer blade. Three, two, one, activate. Activate is called. Kim and Michael Davis were concerned about panic attack. They've left the side skirts on. They've left the skirts on. They were talking about removing them. They're left on, and Terahertz is slamming it with the axe. And I don't think panic attack has the maneuverability to get away. And Terahertz is causing damage straight away. 
at the controls there, John Reed. Look at this, it's systematic. Oh, they are battering Panic Attack into submission. One blow after another raining down. And Kim cannot do anything about this whatsoever. He knows his machine is sluggish. The metal is being ripped away. The armament, look at that weaponry and power of terahertz. Certainly one of the most destructive machines we've seen in Robot Wars to Sith Wars. Only two seeds that spark Chaos 2, the number five, and Sting and the number 11 seeds have crashed out of the competition. But Panic Attack here, the number eight seeds are in danger of following them. Shunt is in there as well. The bulldozer looks a little bit tattered. Has a great split in it, do you see? Down comes the axe. This has been one-way traffic throughout this heat final. Well, Panic Attack, oh! Off comes the top armor. And now the electronics, the electric motors exposed. Matilda's flywheel causing all the damage there after Terahertz had initially prized that lid loose. They're queuing up. Please, RefBot, count them out. And look at this, almost in reverence to what Panic Attack has been in the past, no one is going in there to create more damage yet. They're counted out. I think he knew it was going to happen, didn't he? Maybe it's time now to completely rebuild Panic Attack. Will he have to? Will the house robots, Shunt and Matilda, totally destroy? Oh, 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 the drop zone's being lined up. Surely not for Panic Attack. Have some reverence. That's better. Put it on the floor, flip the crowd. I don't like it. Cruel, nasty, delicious people. Panic Attack from the floor flipper. That'll do, surely. Away it goes. Sturdy, nothing came out from the exposed innards. Still they want the drop zone. Still they call for the drop zone. Oh no! Shunt, how could you? How nasty! How wonderful! What a lovely... <laughs> Kim's trying to get away! To fight it's another awful. day! It's too late! Your time is nigh. Oh, we've got suspended up there. I'm told it's a washing machine! A household washing machine to come crashing down on you! Kim Davis and panic attack! No! The end. Bang. It's all over now. <laughs> what a tear up for the box. Panic attack, the eighth seed. They go out. Terra Hertz are through to the Serie semi finals. The eighth seed. Has gone. You've been having problems with your robot, though, haven't you? Yeah, but I think we got it fixed. We we actually did. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly did get it fixed. Well, it, it, it took off great. As soon as they said activate, it was a cross. But uh, that big axe. How does it feel to have a washing machine dropped on you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were weighing it and thought, God, that's heavy. And they looked, and thought, that's awfully high. <laughs> so we thought, nah. So we backed off. And we thought, oh, go on, we'll let him do it. And, uh, yeah. It's still working. Is it working? It's still going. It is, it's not broken, it's, it's still going. Well, there's a den few dents. Yeah. Never mind. You've got to come back again, Kim. Oh, yeah, of course we are. Still panic attack? Yeah. You're a great sport, you're a great competitor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, XJ Champions, panic attack! Yeah!